Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is Eddie Marcus one more time. I consider this is a privilege to be able to speak to you on what uh, the white man has said is the beginning of uh, Negro History Month. I'm a Mississippian. I came out of those cotton fields. And you can tell by my hair, I went way back there. I went way back there when they were killing black people because they wanted to stand up and be treated like decent individuals. They were being beaten because they spoke up about some of the things that they didn't like happening to them. I remember they had to go and sit in at countertops, at counters. They had to go through the back of restaurants, pick cotton, couldn't vote. Maker Evers down in Mississippi trying to do what he can. And those that work with him, men being killed, people coming from other parts of the country, black and white, to support a cause. They were beaten by men of hate. They were beaten by low down, heartless men, prejudiced men, racist men, evil men. And here we are, the 21st century, and they got a president of the United States saying, let's make it great again. When we could kill niggas, when we could beat them and didn't care what happened to them or what they said about it. And ladies and gentlemen, the reason that I am saying these things to you right now is because we all know what happened. And guess what? The Constitution of the United States was already here. It did not prevent that kind of stuff from happening. The Constitution of the United States is not preventing that same kind of racism to continue to happen today. Now it's in the Supreme Court. Now it's in the United States Senate. Now it's in the United States House of Representatives. Now it's in the police department. It's always been there. Now it's wherever white folks got control. And the Constitution does not mean a darn thing. And just because a black man or a black person says, put me in office, I'm going to stand up and do the right thing. We've heard that before. Black people are still down. They're still fighting it struggling, trying to see if they can get a decent wage. Nobody cares. Nobody gives a good hoot. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to tell you the absolute truth as I've seen it. Everybody will say they care, and most of them might mean it, until they get down to they got something to lose. And when you get to that point, you will find out that most of the folks who you thought cared about you don't give a stink about you. Could be your mom. Could be your daddy could be your daughter, could be your son, could be the preacher. Don't care. But ladies and gentlemen, when all of that is done, when everybody who doesn't care about you has been identified, when all of those who are willing to stick a knife in your back, when all of those who are willing to pull a trigger on you and blow your house up, when all of that is said and done, and when the Constitution has been proven to have no value at all, I want you to know that there is a God that cares about you. And that God has always cared about you. So what am I saying to you? You have to care about God. What do I mean when I say care about God? Stand up with some balls. Stand up for what's right. To hell with the Constitution. Stand up for what's right for you, for everybody else. Stand up for what's right for people in America. Stand up for what's right in people all over the globe. Stand up for freedom. Stand up for justice. Stand up for morality. Because hate will always be here. There will always be another Donald Trump. I know you didn't think he was that close to the surface, but he is. And now that he's standing up, you can see all of those others who you did not know, they were like that. 
until he came on the scene. He empowered them to stand up. He empowered them to speak out that they are not alone. So it's no big deal, ladies and gentlemen. This is the world we're living in. It's not going to change. The haters are always going to hate. The murderers are always going to murder. The liars are always going to lie. The devils are always going to be devils. The haters are always going to hate. The racists are always going to be racist. But the lovers, where are you? Lovers are not afraid. Lovers are free. Lovers know the scope. Lovers know what's going on. So I'm saying to you, ladies and gentlemen, yes, this might be what they want to say. Black History Month. But every day is Blackness Day. 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 And you know, I personally, based upon the way I was raised, I would think that every white person that called themselves good white people would be ashamed that they would go in their bedrooms tonight and stick their heads under their pillows and cry out to God to give them courage to stand up against the evils of Satan, to stand up against the evils of hate, to stand up against the evils of their brothers. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it was happening in the 50s, in the 60s, 2019 is still happening. So I'm saying to you, ladies and gentlemen, you need a leader. You need someone who's not just talking about blacks. You need someone who's talking about right. You need someone who's just not talking about jobs. But you need someone that's talking about decency. You need somebody that's talking about love. You need somebody that's talking about freedom. You need someone that's talking about victory and who's been doing it all along. Who have been doing it all along, not promising you if you put them in office, they're going to start. They should have been doing it ever since they were 12 years old. And if they haven't been doing it since they were 12 years old, they don't understand it. So ladies and gentlemen, I just saw a meeting going on. Black people sitting up in uh, a room and white people in there. White people just got up and got the trash and threw it on the top in the library. Threw it on the top of the black man's head. The cops coming in, getting all the black people out of the library, beating them upside the head. You see, ladies and gentlemen, this is what we have been dealing with all our lives. We have been dealing with this all our lives. And people like Donald Trump and all of his base think we should still take it. And we got some people that are so foolish, they will take it. We got foolish football players on that field bending their knees because they got some money. That's their God. We got foolish basketball players who are standing up, don't want to bend a knee because they, their God is money. The white man got the money and they want the money and the white man said, stand up, they're going to stand. If he said, jump, they're going to say, how high? Those of what Malcolm X used to call the house niggas. And ladies and gentlemen, if we're going to be successful, the white man is going to turn on the house niggas too. Or should I say, already have. Until next time, Eddie Marcus. Bye-bye.